Hi guys, so I'm back today with one more video. This is a swap uh, that I've had uh, for a while and I just haven't had time to film it. Um, this is from the swap that I joined. It is the altered hanger and dress form swap and um, my partner was Rebecca and she sent me a card which I have already read off camera and I love what she sent me. It's just so sweet. But first, before I show you guys, you can see the dress form and uh, the hanger, but I'll show you what she sent me. So she sent me this little bag and it's, I love the way she's decorated this with the flower and everything on the side and it's just a simple paper bag but that little flower and piece of tool really uh, made it look uh, more special and I do hear a train in the background so I do apologize you guys if the train gets incredibly loud and oh this is so cute so she sent me this little charm oh, this little charm okay and you know what? I think this uh, lighting is not going to be the best. So hold on one second. Let me uh, shut the blinds. Oh, that's a little better. Okay. All right. So she sent me this little charm, the lobster claw. And it's a cork and it's decorated on the outside with some bling and a satin flower with a pearl center and bling trim. And then at the bottom, there's two little dangles with these really, really pretty beads on the bottom. So, so cute. Okay, so there's that. That's so pretty. Thank you, Rebecca. And I'm sorry, I don't know Rebecca's YouTube channel. I don't know if she she has one. Um, she also sent me some papers. Uh, these are, I can tell, my mind's eye, and I believe these are Blush and Delight, so I sent, she sent me these. So cute. Thank you. And then she also sent me this little bag of goodies, and um, here comes the train. She sent me these rhinestones, these stickers, and they've got, they're not just clear, they've got that iridescent uh, shimmer to them. These Seven Gypsies stamps. Okay, and I don't know if these have a name. Um, they don't have a name. There's the train. And these recollection embellishments. Uh, it must be just a little uh, commuter train because, oh, no, never mind. It's one of the longer ones. But um, th with the buttons and then the shimmery, uh, sparkly die cuts like butterflies and hearts and flowers and stars and things like that. Those are so cute. Can't wait to use those. And then she sent me these really cool recollection uh, satin flowers. So it's got the two satin flowers and then a resin piece here and then two metal ones and then this little piece right here that says sweet. Those are really cool. Those are awesome. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Can't wait to use those. And now for the thing that everybody's been waiting for is the altered hanger and the dress form swap. So here is the hanger. And this, these are just the little fragment pieces, uh, or faceted pieces from Tim Holtz that she's dangled from some ribbon, added some tulle, and backed it with some really pretty kind of um, cameo uh, silhouettes. I don't think they're from the cameo, but they look like the cameo pieces. And then on the back, there's some satin, more satin flowers and uh, some bling with pattern paper. The same for this one. So let's get that to focus maybe a little bit. And then the hanger itself is decorated with more satin flowers. Some of, they look like the recollections flowers that she sent, um, but they could be Prima. I actually think these are Prima. And here are those, and then these, I believe, are Prima leaves, and they've got some, let's see if we can get it to, there we go. You can see the shimmer on there. It's really, really pretty. She might have actually just painted these with some uh, Perfect Pearls or something like that, and it's all covered by some really soft, and it's padded by some soft um, velvet. 
And then she edged all of her seams in that same ribbon that she hung the uh, the dangles down with. And then these are just little acrylic uh, flower pieces and some more bling. So that's really pretty. And then the dress form. This dress form is huge. It is huge. I didn't I didn't measure it, but hold on. It is from top down to the base. It's actually 12 inches. And so there's a large the larger dress form and a little bit of tulle, some of the acrylic flower and satin flower right there. And just she covered it in fabric and she made layers of it. I'm not quite sure the name of this particular material, but it's really soft and it's 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 flowy on the back. She created kind of the top of the dress like choker by coming down the back side of it and she decorated this with flowers and more satin flowers and um some more of the acrylic pieces and bling. And I love how like the back is kind of bustled. Like I don't know if you guys can kind of see it, but it's kind of bustled. This reminds me of and then of the um the old time saloon gal kind of with the choker and then the satin corset uh, bodice piece and then just the lots of ruffles and you can see that there are some sequins on it and then underneath she's just put layers of sparkly pink tool and she attached it to a metal candlestick and at the bottom tied a little bit of seam binding along with uh, some tool and a little of course it's not going to focus sorry guys um, see if it'll focus there. Tool, and then um, the little piece. So it's get you a close up look of it as it's focused in. But it's just so pretty. There we go. Sorry if part of the video was out of frame on the side, and I love how it's not an even hem. It kind of comes up to show the tool off. She's got another kind of paper flower here, and then she's got some bead sprays here hanging down. It's just so pretty and so lovely. So thank you so much, Le uh, oh my goodness, Rebecca, for all my lovely, uh, for both the lovely hanger and also the dress form, and also all of the goodies that you sent me. You can tell a lot of hard work went into this, and I don't know if you guys kind of noticed this. I don't know if the shine, but the top of the dress form, I believe she made this, and you can kind of see the print through it. It's um, made from the patterns, the sewing patterns you can kind of see right here, and then she's just glittered it all up. So it's really, really pretty, and I just love it. Now i got to find a place in my craft room to kind of put it on display and keep it safe all at the same time. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.